Fritz, you want to introduce yourself for the audience? Sure. My name is Fritz Baer. I'm the Vice President of Research for Workforce Hybrids. What's going on here today? We've got some activity and it's in the middle of winter. Um, tell us a little bit about what's happening. Yeah, in about four weeks we're going to be planning yield trials and it's a pretty stressful time of the year for us to get everything ready for that. And one of the major activities is to start counting experimental hybrids and get them ready for uh, our research planners. So what we do, what Chad here is doing in the background, is we use these small envelopes like this then to fill them full of seed and this is what we actually plant in our yield trials. So for this experiment, we're just putting 95 kernels in each envelope and then that will represent one plot and we'll harvest that later this year and determine uh, if this hybrid's going to be advanced or if it's going to be dropped later on. So then these will actually be going into research plots, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And how many uh, research plots would you have? Oh, it's, it's close to 100,000. Okay, so you're dealing with a lot of uh, different hybrids, and, and uh, what are you looking for in those plots? Yeah, we're testing thousands of hybrids every year, and what we're looking for is something that doesn't exist. We're looking for the perfect hybrid, and so I think most growers know what that would be. High yields, very stable, excellent standability, fast dry down. As soon as you develop something that's good, you can always develop something that's better, so you just keep working. So you're looking at them for different traits in terms of standability and insect resistance, things like that? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of growers in our marketing area, and everyone wants a little bit of something different. Some people want the full package. Maybe they want a fully traded hybrid. We're working to develop those. Other people say, you know, I want to go for a non-GMO contract, so I'd rather not have the traits. We're developing products like that, and then some products in between. And of course, there's different maturities and products that have to work on different soil types. So it's, it's a never-ending job. All right. Thanks, Fritz. Sure.